Hi, this is Wesley. In this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite way to manage in Python packages, <clears throat> which is using a to tool called pipenv. If you've ever had uh, to work on multiple Python projects at the same time, you may run into an issue where you'll install a Python package that you need for one project, um, and then later in another project, you need a later version of the same package and so you want to install the later version, but the old uh, other project still requires the earlier version of the package. So one of the issues uh, pipenv solves is how to handle that situation where you have multiple projects that may depend on the same package but different versions. In addition, you may have multiple projects that require different versions of Python, and pipenv solves both of these problems. <coughs> so. I'm just going to go through the basics of how to use pipenv. Um, for those of you who have used virtualenv um, before, it's basically a wraparound virtualenv and pip. Um, it lets you manage uh, virtual environments uh, and install packages into them. So to get started, I'm going to create a directory. All right, so um, to get started with pipenv, all you have to do is run pipenv install. And what this will do is generate a virtual environment and stores it here in the uh, dot local slash share virtual ems folder. It also generates two files, pip file and pip file dot lock. If you are familiar with uh, node and npm, these are the equivalents of package.json and package-lock.json. So if I look at the pip file, currently it doesn't have anything listed under the packages <coughs> section. Um, so I'll just install a package here. Pip and install numpy. So that's installing the numpy package into the virtual environment that was generated. And it also records that in my pip file. So I can check in my pip file and my .lock file and with my source code to keep track of all the packages I need and which versions that I'm using. And in this file is also where the Python version that your project uses is recorded. Um, <clears throat> and you can use different versions uh, when you set up your uh, project with pipenv. I can now create a app.py file and I'll just import numpy and I'll just print an array. Okay. So at this point, if you were to run this uh, Python um, application, it will throw an error saying that it can't find the NumPy module. What you have to first do is activate the virtual environment, and you do that by running pipenv shell. And that bumps you into a uh, shell that has access to all of the packages that you've been installing. So now if I run Python app, then it successfully loads the modules. So those are the basics of how to use pipenv. pipenv. Um, I'll put a link to the documentation for pipenv in the description.